it ends up being a movie about isolation. It's kind of a film about paranoia. the human response to fear. I'd call it a psychological thriller. Mm -hmm. And maybe even like a whodunit. <laughs> she had absolute panic in her voice. She was such a phenomenal actress, insane. We, we absolutely adored her. We shoot. She seemed to recognize you? No. And she was like, I can tell you something about when she's on trial. There was more going on here. She's behind me, and I, I couldn't see him at all. So then all of a sudden, I heard the gunshot, and then I hear him yell, you shot me. I was scared to death. I can only imagine. There was a phone on the table, and I kept trying to dial 911, and I put it up to my ear. I'm like, this thing won't work. And the phone dropped on the floor, and I thought, Whatever, if you're gonna shoot me, do it. So I grabbed all my stuff, I stepped over his body and go to my car and I thought, just don't turn around, don't turn around, just get in your car and leave. I feel like I was probably in shock. How did you learn about the video surfacing? I received a call from the case agent and he said, you gotta come to the sheriff's department. You're not gonna believe this. When he pushes a button on his computer, my jaw hit the floor. 